Dock. Kemp here with the Hammond Dock. I have a Leslie 122 amplifier for Brother Matt on my desk that I'm working on today. And um, I just cut out these capacitors here that had been pigtailed in there. Um, they are uh, capacitors are supposed to be 30, 30, 30, 10, and these are uh, 47, 47, 47, 22. Um, some tech said, well, you know, you can, you can use these, uh, that, that particular microfarad, but um, other techs say, this particular brand, get rid of them. So, um, it was my intention to get rid of them anyway, and uh, to put in what's supposed to be there, what the specs call for, which is a 30, 30, 30, 10. And this is what I'm going to install. But I just want to show you that. But also, um, what I'm going to do in this video is uh, I'm going to test this cat, uh, cathode bypass capacitor here. And um, because someone had done some work on this amplifier, obviously rebuilt, partially, did a partial rebuild of it. Uh, I, I put in these new caps, the orange caps here. I've already done that. Uh, but, um, and I'm going to change these out. And i got to put another uh, one of these in into the socket there for the fast bottom. So i got to put a fast bottom uh, motor socket in. But uh, what I wanted to note was that they, they left this cathode bypass capacitor in here. So I want to test it to see if I would leave it in. Okay, here we go. Let's test this cathode bypass capacitor. Um, I'm going to use, to do that, my Syncor LC-101. Pass the analyzer. I'm going to use this right here. Okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so to do this, of course, I will clip one end of the passing out of the circuit, then attach this positive. Flip on to that end, the negative to this end. All right, all right, and then I'm going to uh, check for the the value. Now this is a 200 microfarad capacitor, and uh, let me let you see what it tests on the Syncor capacitor analyzer. to elevate this for you to be able to see what the number is. There you go. Okay, let's push, push the value. Okay. That's uh, the so I can, whew, so I can work. There you go. So that was supposed to be, um, that's 200 microfarad and it's showing 317 so uh, it is way outside of the limit um, so even if uh, the next the next test of course would be a uh, test for leakage and uh, this is a, a 50 volt and so to do that I'll test I'll go ahead and test the leakage that's ESR. That's what the ESR would be right there. If you want to see that. Um, but the text for leak, leakage. 
This is standard aluminum electrolytic capacitor. 200. Let's go to 220. Uh, at uh, 50 volt. Hard to see this thing. Um, come across this line. 50. I believe that's six hundred and twenty nine. Uh, is that right? Two twenty six twenty nine. So let's check for leakage. When we do that, it's set on aluminum. Okay, check for leakage. It says uh Okay. Six twenty nine, so and it's it's lower than that, so it didn't even reach that point. So leakage is not the issue, but it's, uh, in terms of the value, that is a problem. Okay, so that is the problem. So I'll be changing that out. Um, I have some new ones. Okay, that we'll put in there. So I'll put one of these new. Capacitors, uh, cathode bypass capacitors in there. And I'll install that in, in place of this one. Go and cut that off. Push the booklet back in there. All right. So that's how I test the cathode uh, bypass capacitor. Uh, in the in the past, I've I've only had my multimeter, my fluke multimeter. Of course, I could uh, test the value of the capacitor, but the, the fluke multimeter would not allow me to take for test for the leakage. So I. Go ahead, went on ahead and went ahead and, and, and spent the money to purchase this uh, capacitor analyzer and I'm so glad that I did because uh, it's well worth uh, the money that I spent to, to, to buy it uh, because not only does it allow me to uh, assess the value of the capacitor but it also allows me to evaluate the capacitor for leakage and uh, in this particular case I didn't find a leakage problem with this capacitor I guess that's why Maybe the uh, previous tech left it in, but um, and and of course with these with these bypass uh, capacitors, I mean I've seen them in there 220 up to a thousand microfarads. So uh, in fact, I know some people advocate the use of a uh, 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 thousand microfarad. Cathode bypass capacitor, so you can put that in there. That it doesn't cause a problem. Um, but anyway, uh, for this particular one, uh, it, it, it it was manufactured to be a 200 microfarads, and and it was much more than that. And so uh, uh, that tells me that that uh, I, I, I'm and I'm going to change it out for a brand new. Okay, that's it. For this video. Until the next one, this is Doc Kemp, the Hammond Doc saying to you, peace out.